The first step we're going to take in learning how to read music is to find the elements that we're looking at on paper. And before we do that, let's split music up into the two main parts that it is. Pitch and rhythm. Pitch is the sounds, the highness and lowness of those sounds that we're making, whether it's single pitches or multiple pitches, turning into chords, our notes. And the other side of the uh, equation is rhythm. Where are we putting these elements in time? Where are we playing the notes and chords in time? Those two elements have to be represented in the music that we are looking at and that we are reading. Now, the basic elements on the paper, so to speak, that we're looking at while we're reading start at the left side of this horizontal element on the paper. That's called a staff. That staff is made up of five lines that creates four spaces. To the very left of that, you will always see a clef sign. That clef sign puts, us, uh, puts the notes on that staff in a certain range. We will always see what's called the treble clef. It's also uh, known as the G clef. Moving over to the right of that, you're going to see two elements that define the pitch and the rhythm. They tell you how you know, these things are going to be organized or how we're going to deal with them. Pitch will be um, uh, left to the key signature. That's telling us you know, the root center and what notes in that key signature need to either have a certain group of sharps or a certain group of flats or neither, which in this case, throughout this course, you're not going to see anything, even though the key signature is there, but you won't see anything because we're going to be playing everything in the key of C. If you want to interpret it as A minor, go ahead. But either way, we're not going to see anything there, but it's still there, so we are in the key of C. So that's our key signature, so that deals with the pitch. Then you have the time signature, two numbers on top of each other all the time. They are telling us how we organize the rhythm of what it is that we are playing. Top number always tells us how many beats per measure. What I mean by that is on the staff, we segment music into sections. Those sections are, are defined by how many beats uh, that, that keep going by. That's called a meter. We're going to read in 4-4 four, four throughout the entire course, which means there's going to be four beats dedicated to each bar or measure. Top number of time signature says four. Now the bottom number, this one's, this one's a little controversial. The bottom number tells us how to interpret the symbols, rhythmically speaking, that we're going to be reading. How, how, what numbers are given to those? What uh, values are given to, uh, to these note symbols that we're going to be learning about? The four being on the bottom is very common. Four, four is the common time signature, so much so that sometimes it could be abbreviated with a C. Instead of seeing four, four, you may see a C. So that four on the bottom, what does it mean? Well, traditionally it's taught that that four on the bottom tells us that the quarter note receives one beat, which is true. But you know what? Here's one way, and you might see me breaking a lot of rules here, or at least traditions, and this is the first one. I like to think of the bottom number of a time signature as telling me how much the whole note is worth. I don't have to decode anything for four beats. The other way around, makes me have to think about something. You know, it's like a two-step process. This is direct. It gives you the same stuff. As you'll see, as we go down and learn about these notes and the values that they are, it's all defined. It all starts with that bottom number of the time signature. So it's either the quarter note gets one beat or the whole note gets four beats. It all gives you the same values. And we'll go over these again as we start getting into the first section of the course. So we have a staff with a clef. Two signatures, key signature, time signature. There's our pitch and rhythm. And then we have everything that we need to get going, to start, uh, you know, we know how this is going to play out. Now, when I'm referring to beats per measure, that top number of the time signature, those measures or bars are depicted on the staff by vertical lines. So every vertical line you see is creating a bar, and that's where the four beats live. A collection of bars going across the staff is called a system. From there, we can get started. We have everything that we need. From left to right, we see our treble clef, our key signature, our time signature, and then we start to see the elements that we're reading. The elements on the left tell us how to read it, and then what we're looking at to the right of that is what we're reading. So we have our notes and our rhythmic values of those notes, and that's exactly where we're going now. So we're going to get started with our first uh, set of notes that we're going to learn and also our big three rhythmic values. Ready? Let's do it. 